We got the coach on the line here. Let me get him up here. Coach, you ready to rock and roll? Yeah. All right. Uh, name that classic rock tune. We got three hundred and fifty dollars in cash on the line today. All you have to do is get two songs right before the coach does. Uh, let's get uh, Chris in here. He's the uh, first one that's going to be. Chris, up. which game? Which game are you going to go to? Uh, Saturday. Okay. Just know that if you go to that Friday game, you have to wear green. Okay. Okay. Everybody's taken. Uh, everybody apparently is intimidated by Friday because. Uh, uh, it probably just their busy schedules. We've got everybody taking Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Uh, Chris, you're going to be first up. Have you played the coach before? Oh, yes. Okay, so you know how it works. you got to say your name. Don't blurt out the answer. You have to know title and artist. If one of the, the guys rings in and they don't get it right, the other person will get the rest of the 30 seconds of the song uh, to try to figure it out, okay? All right. All right. All right here we go. 1972, guys. Best of luck. Larry. Larry Lee. Listen to the music, Doobie Brothers. That is correct. All right, Chris. Chris, you're supposed to listen to the music. Do as the Doobie Brothers say, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Chris on the line. Chris, where, what city do you live in? A town, represent A town, and we got head coach Larry Lee, uh, undefeated champion, undefeated this year, by the way. In name that classic rock tune, three hundred and fifty dollars if you can beat him twice. Chris, you're still alive, but you have to get this next one to stay in the game. This is nineteen sixty four. Okay, best of luck to you, Larry. Larry Lee, you really got me, Kinks. Yes. Uh, see you later, Chris. All right. It really got me day on the program, huh? King's version way better than Van Halen version. I don't care what David Lee Ross says. You always got to go to the original. That's the one thing that has always kind of turned me off about Van Halen is the fact that they do cover songs and put them on albums. Like, if they do a cover song in a concert, okay, that's cool. But putting them on your albums, that's just like, you know, what, you guys didn't have enough material? <laughs> Had to go back to the well? All right, let's let's uh, let's bring uh, the next guy into this. Uh, this is uh, this is William, and he's going to Saturday's game, Jeff. Billy. <laughs> hey, William. Oh, oh, what happened here? Billy? Hello? No. We lose him? I'm going to try one more time. Billy sounds remarkably like a ringtone. Like when you call somebody. It'd be really great if we had an extra person in here to get these people on the phone. But, you know. Yeah. Don't we come back in? We're giving like $350 away. <laughs> yeah. Coach, could you help produce the show today? We just need you to dial some phone numbers for us. Uh, okay. If, Jake, if, what did I play last week? Actually. Hello? Hey, William. I'm here. Okay, all right, let's do right. this then, all right? Uh, we got the coach here. Remember, William, you got to ring in by saying your name first. You got to know title and artist of the song. If you get it wrong, the coach will have 30 seconds to listen to the entire song. If he gets it wrong, same thing. If you beat him twice, you'll win $350. Jeff, where are we starting? 1976. Best of luck to you guys. Larry. Larry Lee. Seasons on Fear of the Reaper, Blue Esther Colt. Name that classic rock tune. These songs come straight out of the KZOZ library. If we don't have it in the library, we don't play it. Yeah, just a bit How are you feeling right now, William? Oh, I'm feeling defeated already. He got his fast. Uh, I knew that song, but he got me. Okay. You got to be faster, I guess, William. All right. That's where good. are we going next, Jeff? Uh, we're going to the 80s bracket, 1986. Okay. Um, if you could tell us who sings this song and what the artist, uh, or what the title of the song is, then you will score yourself three hundred and fifty dollars if you get two right. But you need to get this one right to stay alive. Okay. Okay. Larry. Larry Lee. Uh, <laughs> That's know. so uh, easy. Yeah, it's out of my range. Uh, uh, bon Jovi wanted Dead or Alive? Yeah, that's correct. Is it really? Yeah. I was going to say, you must not watch uh, The Deadliest Catch on Discovery yeah. Channel. Never into Bon Jovi. 
Okay. Or Deadliest Catch. It's uh, been the theme song yeah. for like 15 years. Here we go. Okay. Um, so uh, congratulations, Coach, on scoring a, yet another victory. All right. right. See you later, buddy. Uh, there goes William. Let's bring Matt into the mix. Matt, you ready to rock and roll? I'm ready. All right. Now, you, you've played the coach before. Did you play the coach last week? No, I did not. Oh, okay. All right. Have you ever played the coach before? Nope. Oh, this is a first. This is a rookie coach. All right. <laughs> He's doing that thing, you know, where they get out of the batter's box and they hit the bat on the bottom of their cleats to knock the dirt off before they <laughs> yep. they run the bases. Yeah, that's what the coach. That's what I, just, I just saw him down at the corner of my eye do, doing that. Whatever you do, Matt, don't stare down the coach. Okay? <laughs> where are we going, right, Jeff? Right. 1976. Bring him with your name when you know it. Larry. Larry Lee. <laughs> Uh, Boston, long time. <laughs> Correct. Wow, that's insane! Wow, that's insane. Yeah, he's Listen quick. to Matt. Matt, thank you for using "shoot" instead of the other verb. Oh, I got you. I know the rules. <laughs> Good job, Coach. Gosh, you, okay, this so is the easy. last chance. If if Matt doesn't get this right, then next next time we talk to Coach, which is that next week or the week after, Coach? Yeah, next week. Next, next week he'll be in what UCLA in town? Yeah, yeah. And it'll be four hundred dollars. All right. 400 bucks, But, Matt, uh, you can do it right now. You can win $350 in cash, but you have to get this next two songs right. I got you. All right, here we go. Jeff, where are we going? Oh, sorry, 1981. Larry, since you're gone, cars. Are you serious? Damn. <laughs> He's so fast. Okay, now... Um, Matt, we're going to send you to the series. Uh, we got some tickets for you for Sunday. Okay, buddy? Okay. Come pick those up at the radio station. Thanks for playing. All right, You're Coach. Me, I mean, right? okay. did you own that album? The I mean, third, The third we, clap. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I think some of those sound effects they put on the albums, we were talking about this last week. Uh, Doobie Brothers is, is famous for, like, the wind chimes or whatever. And yeah. uh, is that what, Was that why you got it? I mean, obviously, because you own the album, or did they play it that way on the radio back in the day? No, I just think uh, when you had an album, um, you just you just knew the beginning of the song because you just played it over and over. Right. Big yeah. Cars fan? So, yeah, Cars were great. Cars was one of those groups that, uh, you know, growing up in the in listening to music in the 70s, you know, there wasn't a lot of new stuff, but the Cars were kind of new. They were kind of on that new wave and, and uh, kind of uh, synthesizers. They were a great group. Yeah. Uh, for, First great album. Our first album was great. And, what about uh, uh, Cars in the '80s? Uh, okay, you know what my I, my music kind of stopped. You know, it was like junior high, high school, and maybe maybe beginning of college, and, and then after that, didn't listen to a lot of new stuff. That's why, I like, uh, yeah, yeah, Drive. Yeah, I heard yeah. you. I heard uh, back in the. Did you, did you know your wife back then? No. Oh no. I heard you no. used to take girls out to. Uh, Packers drive. Point uh, and listen to Drive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, one story you're talking about, Van Halen. I've, I've called into the radio station maybe two or three times in my life to ask about a song. And I was driving, and I heard this guitar solo, and it broke into this, you know, power chord. And it was, and I had to call. I go, who, who, who was that? You know, that's a new group called Van Halen. So with the eruption into uh, You Really Got Me. And, yeah, it, it, so, like, that was new because, you know, Eddie Van Halen was, you know, so progressive in his, his guitar. It sounded like nobody else. But it had been, been cool to grow up, like, in the 60s and listen to the Beatles and Stones and Hendrix for the first time. Yeah, so, that's what that's what we're kind of, you know, like, by being forced to relive the 60s yeah. through the vinyl four. You can't really do it. Yeah, you, you you seriously, but you do see this shift about halfway through the decade where music just totally yeah. did a one eighty and yeah. went in a different direction and shaped so much of what we hear to this day. Yeah, you know, yeah. uh, in, in new music, and it's like thank you for for doing that. Whoever the powers that be were in the sixties, I don't know if it's the record executives that get the credit for that, the bands, the English invasion, the British invasion. British I, I don't, invasion. I, I don't know what yeah. it was. But well, the Beatles changed everything, and 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 when they saw the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan show, everybody wanted to be a rock star, mm -hmm. and so yeah, you hear that from musicians all the time, and you still hear groups like Oasis and Cheap Trick. They 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 say they were, you know, even though though they came out in the the 70s, and I don't know when Oasis came 90s. out. But, 90s. Yeah. I can't even believe you brought them up, like late 90s. Yeah, they, they have a, a 
so, somebody gave me one of their albums, and it was unbelievable. I think it was like, uh, what's the story, Morning Wait, Glory? Hold on a second. Did, did Coach Lee just say that an album from the 90s was unbelievable? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That is unbelievable yeah. in its own right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, But it, it was because it sounded like an album from the from the 70s. It was, you yeah. know, kind of Aerosmith, Def Leppard-ish. And, but they, they have, you can tell there's a, a Beatles influence in their, in their yeah. music. So, Absolutely. But, yeah, we never grew up in that. So we just we just don't know. So um, you you really only know about you know the era that you grew up in. Yep. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you next week. Yes. Let me know if, yeah. if I can come and uh, you know answer the call. You know, answer the phone and you know get things straight over there. <laughs> yeah, we can always use your help, Coach. Okay. I just don't want to de- deter from what your real job is. So. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> All right, see you later. So, okay, guys. 7 o'clock first okay. pitch on Friday. It's yeah, 7 late o'clock. night because of TV, Kirby, right? Yeah, it's going to be te- nationally televised uh, on ESPN. You get on out and show uh, the national television audience what a gem the Central Coast is by and support your Cal Poly Mustangs by wearing green. And then the Saturday game is going to be a 6 o'clock start and then a 1 o'clock first pitch for Sunday.